All right, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Travis here, uh, aka TMP two two nine five, and on my other channel, uh, Trigger two two nine five, is where I do a lot of tutorials. This isn't really a tutorial as much as it is a demo, I guess you could say, of the Alesis Multi Mix for USB mixer uh, slash interface. It's a USB interface, is what it also is. Okay, so uh, it's a little bit uh green in here right now uh so yeah it's i hope the lighting is good enough but yeah so starting off uh i got this from sweetwater uh sweetwater.com uh it was 79.99 plus tax it was free shipping free tech support uh two year warranty so it was an overall good deal so uh starting off we have my microphone right here which has a quarter inch jack but above here you can see the two as two female and XLR cables for line ones lines one and two uh, but it also has a guitar and line in for uh, line one channel one now uh, what this there's a little button here it's a guitar and a line what the guitar and line uh, do if it's if you if you press the button and it's down it turns on it's like a guitar mode i guess you could say but it it uh i guess you could say it handles higher frequency better and it makes it sound better and it's also good for vocals i i've noticed so yeah uh, i'll be doing a vocal test like actual metal vocals uh probably within this next week or two so keep checking back for that also um but yeah uh so we got the guitar and line uh, button. Then we also have a high pass filter. Now what the high pass filter does is it eliminates all low end from uh, 72 hertz I want to say. So if I had a lot of low end right here, I just try and turn this up so you could hear it's really bassy right now. What this will do is uh, now that I have the low end, I put on the high pass filter and it eliminates the low end a lot more than normal. So then if I take that off and I keep on talking, la 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 and you can hear the bass is back. So I'm gonna just low uh get the low end down again. Okay, that should be good. So uh going down again, you have your gain right here, this little knob. Um this uh if you're doing vocals or like talking, I'm saying talking wise, I haven't actually tried it with the vocals like metal. Uh but if you're talking, I have the gain about halfway or so a little over half uh but on guitar i would recommend you put it a little lower or else you'll get a fuzz and if you don't know what i'm talking about i'll raise up the gain and you can hear that sort of uh fuzz kind of kind of sound uh yeah that gets annoying so uh, like i said i have it about eh, halfway ish and uh yeah so going down, uh, you have the uh, gain on both channels, and the only channel you have with the uh, sorry about that, the only channel you have with the guitar and line in option is uh, channel one. You only have that uh, the guitar option right here. Only on uh, channel two, you have the only the high pass filter. So channel one is mainly for guitar. Channel one and two could both be for mics okay so uh going down uh you have your high and low end eq uh so does that that's what that is you have the channels one and two but on three and four which i'll get to in a second you could see that there is new uh no high and low end uh eq so i'll get to that in a second so then you have your pan on your only uh, first and well technically first and second channels on the third one you also technically have a pan button which I'll get to the third and fourth in a second uh, but you have your pan so I'll pan to the left real quick so you can hear that so this is to the left and I'll pan it to the right now and that's to the right and I'll center it back out okay so then on the very bottom right here you have your uh, channel one two and uh, three. Well, this is three and four right here. But again, I'll get to that in a second. 
uh, you have your uh, levels down here for the overall cha for the channel. So if I raise this up, it'll get louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. Okay, and then same principles apply. If I bring it down, you'll hear nothing. Okay, you probably can tell. Yeah, I was talking, but you can't hear anything because I had to level down. So uh, going back to this, uh, you have now channels three and four. This is for if you have a CD player or something. Uh, you have uh, it's it's a stereo channel is what this is. You have a left and a right. Uh, and right here, what I was saying, the pan. This is kind of like a pan right here for the channels three and four. It's sort of like a pan because if you pan to this uh pan to the left, turn it counterclockwise, it'll pan to channel th uh channel three line three. Uh, but if you pan to the right, it'll go to channel or line four. So, uh, in saying that, it's pretty much like a pan. It's, you know, it's same principles apply between this pan and this pan. So, you know, I don't really understood that. I didn't, yeah, understood. Fail. I don't really understand that. Um, so, yeah, going uh, into another one right here is another level for three and four. This uh, levels out the whole th uh, stereo channel right here. It levels out both of them. But depending on which one you want to go between more, like if you want to raise up the volume more, raise up the level, and then if you wanted to want ch uh, line three to get more of uh, more uh, action, or so to speak, you know, uh, then you would just turn the balance right here to counterclockwise to three. So, uh, make sure you throw it down. Okay. So, going on, uh, then we have your left and right main outs. Uh, those are for monitors, speakers, and such. And you have uh, your quarter-inch headphone out, uh, which I have my Sennheiser HD 201s. I do. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, those are... I have a three-fifths millimeter jack, uh, but I have the quarter-inch, uh, three-fifths to quarter-inch male uh, jack to go into the headphones. And then, of course, you have these pretty blinking lights, which uh, pretty much tell you this, the how high the sound is if it's too loud. If it's too loud, you'll see a flash in the red, which I'll try and raise up this in the gain right now so it goes into the red. There you go. And it got really, really, really unbelievably loud there for a second. Uh, but that just shows that uh, it's too loud. And another thing, actually, I forgot to mention. Next to the level, you'll see a clip. Um, you see that button flashing, turn the gain down, because that means that you're experiencing clipping. <coughs> Ooh, all right. Anyway, uh, so then you have your headphone uh, volume. Don't go by this. If you can hear yourself perfectly in the headphones uh, using when you turn this up, don't be like, oh, well, that sounds perfect. I'm just going to start recording, because it doesn't necessarily mean that it's all good. It just means that you can, you know, turn. You could turn this up to where you could have the level down to like a one, and you raise this all the way up, and you'll hear yourself perfect. You know, so again, don't go by this. No, not this. This. <laughs> don't go by this because that just that's deceptive. You know, uh, and then of course you have your master, the uh, main volume. So that literally that's main volume control. And, uh, yeah, that is actually about it for the features right here. And then I'm going to tell you what this came with, just so you know, because I also had this question uh, until I actually got the mixer itself. Then uh, my questions were answered. So I'll answer it kind of off the bat. Uh, I wanted to know if, you know, I had to buy the AC adapter or if it came with it, because if I had to buy it, I was kind of, like, out of luck because I didn't really have that much money to spend for it. So, um, yeah, it does come with the AC adapter. It's a 500 milliamp, uh, 10 volts AC adapter, which is over here, but you can't really see it because actually I got my phone real quick. I'll just show you real quick. Why not? Right there. You can't really see it that great, but yeah. And, uh, uh, hello, and then you have it came with the the AC adapter, and it also came with the USB cable. 
which if uh, if yours goes bad, this is literally just kind of a printer cable. It uh, has a USB on one side and it has like the squared off, almost uh, hexagon kind of shape. It's got five sides. So oh no, six, six sides. Okay, hex yeah, hex. Oh, I fail. Anyway, <laughs> I'm tired. Give me a break. Uh, so yeah. And that's about it for the features and everything. And then, of course, uh, Sweetwater comes with a catalog. And thank you for ordering from there and everything. And uh, that's, I think, about it. And uh, if you guys are wondering what I record into you, because right now I'm not going to mix uh, mix or master this right now, mainly because uh, I don't want to take away any of the quality of the mixer itself. But I'm running Cubase LE5, which I got with my Digitech RP355 uh, effects uh, processor. So it's a really nice, uh, really nice uh, DAW. And uh, I believe that's it. So if you guys also want to hear a song, I also recorded guitar using this. So if you guys want to hear the, my song, my original song, I'll put an annotation somewhere. I'll try and rest it on my finger if I can. So just click above my finger, and you'll be good. And you'll be able to hear my song because, uh, I, like I said, I recorded it with the mixer. So if you want to see guitar quality, if you came here for guitar quality, wrong video. This is vo uh, vocal-wise, talking for you know tutorials and whatnot. But if you want to hear the guitar, just go to my other channel, Trigger2295, and uh, be sure to like, comment, and uh, favorite. And don't forget to subscribe to that channel and this channel. So that's it, and uh, hope you guys have a great day. Hope this uh, helped, and I totally recommend this mixer for any little studio like mine. Uh, it's perfect. Again, I'll have a vocal cover up soon, and uh, that's about it. So, in saying that, uh, later. <laughs>